Now that you've completed the first module in our MOOC on Java for Android, you should be able to name the key object-oriented concepts and Java features needed to program Android apps, understand how to complete the course requirements, and know where to find the information and resources you need to succeed in this MOOC. Much of this information is available in the Frequently Asked Questions or FAQ website, so please read it carefully prior to watching the lessons in this MOOC. If this MOOC inspires you to learn more about Android app development, please consider taking our Mobile Cloud Computing with Android specialization, as well as watching the digital learning resources available at my website, which provide many more hours of lessons on object-oriented design and programming with Java and C++, patterns and frameworks for concurrent and network software, and Android middleware and systems programming mechanisms. And now let's get on with the rest of our MOOC on Java for Android.